I can hit play and I have a POV of the character. Because the camera is attached to her face. Or to her head bone to be more specific. Hey guys, Franco again with another mini tutorial. Uh, this time I'm gonna show you what the attach track is. So we have this sphere here that I want to attach to her head. Let's say it's gonna be a helmet. Um, so I would add it to the sequencer. We already have her in the sequence just walking. Um, and now I'm gonna add an attach track to the uh, sphere. So I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna pick her and then it's gonna ask me where in her skeleton i want to attach this this is a particular case because this is a skeletal mesh if it's not a skeletal mesh and if it's another static mesh this works anyways if it's the rig rail you would attach it to the rig rail component etc etc so i'm gonna go ahead and the first thing you're gonna go it's well something's wrong right and yes because you need to zero out location you always need to zero out location so i zero out and that's it that's her head right now uh, i'm gonna just make this smaller not that small, there we go, a three. All right, and now I can work with going into the zero frame and just offsetting this so so it is where I want it to be. As long as it's in the zero frame, it will not uh, move then. So now she's moving and she has like a new golf ball head. And now say we want this to not be throughout the entire shot. We want this to be... Uh, and let's say she stops here and she drops the helmet, right? So how would you do that? Well, you need to cut the attach track and the way of doing that is trimming right and preserve. So that way it will stay in the position it was previously to the attach. In the very, very last position it was, okay? And that way you can then animate whatever you want or whatever you need with this object. Uh, so you put it here and it set a keyframe, it flies around, it's attached to her and then it falls to the ground. Let's say it falls to the ground, okay? Just bear with me, this is just a, a simple, very easy and quick explanation. So she drops her helmet in a tantor, uh, temper tantrum and then the helmet falls to the ground. And that's it. So that's attached tracks. There's a, a lot of things you can do with this. Another very, very cool thing you can do with attached tracks is, for example, get a POV. So you would go to cinematics, let's get a camera actor here, uh, let's get into the sequence and let's put an attach track on her and her head. Uh, again, we're zeroing it out and we are going to eject just to check what's going on. So the camera's looking up, so we would want something like this and then the rotation is also wrong, so we would want to zero out the rotation. And then we want to fix this. Okay, so the bone in her head is tilted to the side. That's why this is all wonky uh, and whatnot. So minus 90 is a zero. And this is, let's do, uh, let's not do zero. Let's do something like that. And let's change the, uh, bu -bu -bu -bum, the focal length. Something like that. And now the attach track, see, this is a mistake, right? This is, this is good that it happened. So I left the playback, um, the pointer in here. So it made the attach track from this point onwards. So the camera is attached, but it's not attached here and breaks. So what I need to do now is go all the way back and attach the camera. And now this will work. And this is a, essentially a POV. So I, you see how I lock the camera here and nothing is happening. That's because my camera is not bound to um, to the camera cuts. So now that it's bound, I can hit play and I have a POV of the character because the camera is attached to her face or to her head bone to be more specific. All right, guys, that was it. Attached tracks, uh, a few uses, a helmet that falls to the ground and how to cut the attachment and then a camera and a, a little nice uh, POV. Obviously, you can do this too and it will look very video gamey. Uh, there's the helmet falling off. All right, any questions, again, on the post. Bye.